right, hey guys, this is Belle, the great Pyrenees. She was adopted by my friend Ingrid and her mother here, who I might hire. Look at that, she's doing such a good job. Oh my God, don't jump, Belle, don't make me look bad. Okay, stay, Belle. She's like, I'm done. All right, so, oh, let me turn this camera. Belle does not really like to get brushed. <laughs> oh, so sweet. Hey, what's up, Chin Barbie? So yeah, I, I, I remember earlier you were asking if I could stream this live um, and show what I do when she bites. And I asked um, mom over here if, uh, if it's okay if I can stream this and show people what I do when she bites. Um, so she said, yeah, of course, you know? So here is, and, and really, I don't even wanna call it a bite. I mean, it is a bite, but it's really her communicating with me, telling me like, hey, I don't like what you're doing. Don't stop that, you know? And so for me, I, I, I understand what she's trying to tell me with, with her mouth by using the bite. So that's why, and look at that. Oh my goodness, that is a huge jaw. If she wanted to, she could just, you know, she can end me. So anyways, here's what I'll do. I'll put this camera here so you can see. Oh, hold on. All right, well, let, me, let me see here. Where can I put this camera so that everybody can see what's going on? I'm gonna move these tools here. Okay, so I'll do it right there like that. Hi from Madeira, Portugal. Wow, Charmaine de Freitas. Wow, somebody from Portugal is watching this. Do you make money for your job as a groomer? Yeah, this is how I make my living. <laughs> so this is my job. This is my, you know, this is, this is how I earn a living, you know. Um, this YouTube, this is really just for fun, you know. <laughs> so... I, would, I, I really didn't imagine anybody would actually watch this. I, I started this YouTube channel seven years ago for my clients so they could see what I was doing. You know, I never really thought anybody would be interested, but wow, you know? So anyways, so yeah, YouTube is not my, my source of income. I do get, so, you know, I'm not gonna lie, I do get supplemental income from YouTube, the, the money that comes in. I, I'm very grateful for it. But how long have you been grooming, LOL? Since 2010, so nine years. I've been grooming for nine years. Um, started my business back in 2012. So, you know, had been running my own business for about seven years. Anyways, so, <coughs> like I explained, um, Great Pyrenees, they were originally bred in the Pyrenees Mountains, right? In Spain, uh, France, that, the border there. Hi, my dog is scared of high velocity dryer. Had to go slow. Yeah, and, and the happy hoodie helps as well. Or if you can wrap a towel around their ears, that usually helps. Okay, anyways. <clears throat> so the, the reason why she was bred um, was for hundreds of years, they were bred to guard sheep and, and goats and lambs and livestock. So it's instinctual for her. She wants to be protective. She wants to protect um, animals, smaller animals, you know, weaker animals. So that's why Great Pyrenees are so great to have around rabbits, hamsters, ferrets, any other small, any other small dogs even, because they're very protective. They, they want to nurture, they want to protect. And then the other side though, is if a wolf comes along or a coyote or a bear, any threatening animal, any threat, they, they go on attack. And you'll see how she, this sweet dog looks when she, ah, you know, it's intimidating. And so what I have to understand is, instead of presenting myself as a bigger dog or a wolf or something threatening, I say, hey, stop that. And I, and I try to physically stop her from biting me. It turns into a fight. And the way she moves even, arr, arr, she's already in fight mode. So if I start fighting back with her, it's gonna turn really bad and it's not gonna end well for me. <laughs> She'll kill me. <clears throat> so what I have to do is I have to uh, just tell her like, oh, it's all right, stop. And I have to like, almost submit to her, but I'll show you how I do it so you, it kind of makes sense. So what triggers it is when I do her legs. So watch this. When I do her legs and foot. Is she not gonna do it? You know you're on camera, don't you girl? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Can you believe this? She's not biting. <laughs> do you know you're on camera? No way. <laughs> So I guess, yeah, tip of the day. If you have a dog that bites, just start streaming it. Put them on camera. Holy cow, you're not gonna bite it for real? You know <laughs> Okay, so she's like, okay, so she's starting to get upset because I keep doing it. I'm sorry, there you go. 
Yeah. You know, another reason might be because I've already combed all that out. I went through a dematting rake and everything. I, I cut out all the mats and I combed everything out. And so now it's, it actually feels much better here. And here too, this comb couldn't, wouldn't go through earlier. It was getting caught, but now it goes through. And maybe now because that area feels better, she's not biting anymore. Why aren't you biting me anymore, girl? I love it when you hurt me. Oh, you hurt me so good. Oh, I love it. <laughs> okay, anyways. Oh, another fun fact. Did you know the reason why they're white is so that the shepherds can, or the farmers, you know, they can tell their dog from the wolf, even at night, they can see where their dog is. That's why they're white. So that early in the morning or late at night, when it's dark, they can still see and find their dog. That's why they're white. Wow, I didn't know that. Anyways, well, I did know that. I just <laughs> Is your grooming table always backed against the wall when you're grooming her? Yes, with her, because she tries to you know, jump off and stuff. I know with one of my dogs, it helps to pull the table away from the wall so they feel so they don't feel cornered while grooming. Yeah, we do, we do that sometimes, but she likes to lean against the wall and she likes to try to jump off the table. I really gotta keep an eye on her. I can't like, you know, <laughs> keep, I gotta make sure that I'm like, I got, I have a hand on her at all times. She likes to try to jump off the table. Um, where is your groomer place? So I, I, this is my client's home. I just, I just sat in people's houses. Oh, I hope I didn't report that. She looks scared. Oh, <laughs> yeah, she probably is. I mean, what? <clears throat> okay, so the way I describe it to my clients, okay, you want to lay down, girl? The way I describe it to my clients is that I think that it's a lot like how I feel when I go to the gym. <clears throat> Some days, I really just don't want to go to the gym. Oh my God, I just, I'm so tired, you know? But I just tell myself, you know what? Let's just go to the parking lot. Let's just at least go to the gym and we'll just go to the parking lot, park the car, and then we'll go home. And now, at least I can say I went to the gym, right? So then I go to the gym and then I just sit there in the car sometimes. I don't even listen to anything motivational because I don't want it to make me feel guilty. So I just sit there in the car in silence for a little bit. And sometimes I even pass out for a little bit. <laughs> and then I'm, I wake up and I'm like, you know, I start feeling bad. I'm like, I'm already here at the gym. Might as well go in, at least take a shower. So then I take a shower. Well, I go in, I'm like, you know what? I'm already dirty from a long day work. Might as well work up a sweat before I take a shower. So then I go and I, I, I work out and then I take a shower. And afterwards I feel great. I feel wonderful about myself, almost energized, you know? And I think that's kind of how the dogs feel too. It's like when they first see me, they know oh, I'm, I'm gonna be brushed, it's gonna feel, uh, you know? So when they see me, they don't initially like it, but they love me afterwards, you know, because they feel so good afterwards. Because all of that stuff, Just a little bit of it. Let me just show you a little example of it. I don't want to get... This is Howie's hair. Look at this. This is just some of it. All of this has been brushed out. So because all of this has been brushed out, <clears throat> now she feels much more comfortable. She feels good about herself. She got through it. You know? Sometimes it's her back legs here too. Watch this. Wow. And again, it might be because I've already combed it out. <laughs> it might be because she knows I'm, she's on camera. I have no idea. This is, this is bizarre to me. Like, do you know you're on camera, girl? <laughs> do you know you're on camera? How? What? Okay. <clears throat> Agnes, you just have to show up. <laughs> um, Bev Smith, how long did it take you to brush her? brush her out. That's one thick coat. Yeah. So I got here at 11. So 12, one, two, what time is it now? 1.30. So this is 11, 12, 1, 30. Two and a half hours. Oh my goodness. I had no idea two and a half hours. What? what? I, I've been brushing over two and a half hour. Whoa. I had no clue. All I, I was just focusing on, okay, let's just get this ear combed out. Let's just get this ear combed out. Cause there are all these mats here behind the ear. And I was just like, okay, let's just work on the ear. And she was like biting and stuff. So I was like, all right, we, we got this ear. Now let's do this ear. I just try to break it up into sections, you know? Okay, now let's get the neck. Now let's get the chest. Okay, now let's get the shoulder. Now let's get the other shoulder, you know? And I've been working section by section all throughout the dog, all throughout, you know, Belle's coat here. And now I even got the tail. This was a, oh my goodness, she was like turning and spinning. 
she jumped off the table even. <laughs> but now the tail's combed out and nice. Look at that. I can even touch it without her reacting now. Wow. So two and a half hours it took, but I had no idea that two and a half hours went by. Seriously. And I feel so blessed. That's why I feel so lucky. This is how I earn my money. Can you believe that? Oh my, I, I get to do something that I love so much. I get so lost in and you know, like, wow. And then I get paid to do it. And I feel so rewarded because the dog feels nice. She, she's appreciative. Oh my God. All right, good. Okay, anyways. You wanna get down? So, <coughs> wow. Oh, actually, before I let her down, I'm gonna go ahead and do her nails and trim up her trim her paws around. That way, I take her to a self wash because she's so big. So when my my plan is, um, what I do usually is I get her all trimmed up and all done, ready to present the final product. Um, so the, all I have to do is now take her in my car, go into the self wash, wash and dry her. That way she'll be nice and shiny and fluffy and soft. And then I just bring her home and she's done. So that's the goal. So I got my Red Robin shears here. If you guys want to join me. These are priceless. Um, once you, oh no, <laughs> she's like, I'm out of here. <laughs> Let me secure her here. <coughs> there we go. Go ahead and secure my horse here. Okay, so the, once you reach my level of, of uh, mastery and fame, <laughs> you get to have these kind of priceless tools sent to you by a fan in Washington, I don't even gonna call her a fan, uh, a friend in Washington named Robin Stolen. She sent me these overnight, not just these, but a couple other tools as well, um, when I got my, all my tools stolen out of my car. So, <laughs> Robin, thank you so much. I'm not even making fun of it. I love these shears, they do amazing work. And I love to use them just to prove a point. Irene asked me, um, one of the groomers from Portland <laughs> that, that came for Atlanta Pet Fair, she asked me, um, what scissors I, do I recommend? Because she's walking around, she can't choose. I said, don't ask me. Because <laughs> I was like, I use, you know, $60 pairs of shears, you know? I, I, I was like, I just, I was like, if you give me a pair of craft scissors, as long as it has a metal cutting edge in there on the plastic scissors, I can make it work. You know, like, don't, yeah, I'm the wrong guy to ask about <laughs> scissor brands. But if I were, if I, well, I am saving up to buy a new, really, really nice pair of scissors, by my friend Josh Morales, J Morales Scissors. I'm gonna buy them, and that's only because I like the guy. <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest. It's only because I like him, that's why I'm gonna buy his scissors. But really, uh, the scissors don't matter. The tools don't matter. It's the, it's the groomer. You matter, you know? Okay, anyways. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm working on a scissor flip technique. With these shears, it's a little bit tricky because it's not so secure. There we go. <laughs> A lot of times, a lot of times, these extremely luxury brands, you know, they're not really built for practicality. Once you get up to the upper luxury levels like that, you know, Armani and all that stuff, Versace, they're not comfortable. You know, they don't work. So that's why when you get to my level, you get these kind of shears that are super, super fancy. <laughs> but <they're laughs> anyways.
I'm not sure if Ma's back there listening to me bragging <laughs> about how awesome I am. No, I was kidding. <laughs> okay. Okay, girl, let me do the back feet. Can I do the back feet? There we go. Oh, let me loosen that up. <coughs> Alrighty. So, oh, you know what? <coughs> so what I'm doing, just to get show you guys, is I am trying to just round the feet. So right now I just scissored the feet so it's a little bit nicer. And now I'm gonna touch these up with the thinning shears to make it softer. So nice and round and soft. But then when you look at the underside, now that's clean. See, because I, I trimmed the pads. Now the back feet, see that how it looks all grinchy? Like mops. And then underneath, see that? So that's gonna hold on to all the moisture, bacteria, all the dirt. So I'm gonna trim that. So that's what we're doing. We're just trying to make the this back foot here look like the front feet here now just to trim it up <clears throat> just to keep it cleaner you know okay all right girl ready So just to show you guys, so this one has been trimmed, see that, and that one has not. So let me show you with her standing so you can see a little bit better. Up, up, Bill. Oh man, my Jedi powers are not working. Oh man, wow, your, your mind is getting stronger. <laughs> wow, her mind is able to withstand my Jedi mind tricks, my influence. Okay, up, come on girl. Don't make me look bad. Oh my goodness, you're making me look so bad. Okay, come on. <laughs> Just stand up, girl. <coughs> Alrighty, let me start again. Look, girl. There we go. Okay, good girl. Thank you so much, but oh. Okay, so here's the view. So see that one? It's a little bit more trimmed up. I'm gonna touch that up a little bit with the thinning shears, but see how that, compared to this, see that? So this one's a little bit more like tamed, controlled. You know, you see that? And then this one here. Okay, well, all right. <laughs> so you get the idea. So that's what I'm gonna do for that other foot. Just trim it round, and then I'm gonna do her nails, um, clean her ears, and then take her to the self-wash and wash and dry her. And that's that's how I groom Belle here. That's how she stays nice and pretty. <laughs> all right. Anyways, <coughs> any questions? Any questions? All right, perfect. Well, I will see you guys later. Uh, I'm sorry that she wasn't biting. I mean, shoot, maybe next time I'll come, I'll stream it from the beginning when she starts biting. And then we'll, we'll show that because she's comfortable now. She doesn't feel the need to bite anymore. <laughs> I'll see you guys.